Hello YouTube, I hope everybody is doing great. I have some new products to show you from Lilygo. They kindly sent me these, as you can see it's a tea glass, it's a new rotor encoder and the camera plus S3, this one here. So today I'm just gonna talk about the rotor encoder and what I did to it and uh, the other ones will follow after this video so let me take these out i have the links for these in the description and um, you can check them out they are affiliate links i do get two percent so i think one of them sells for 40 dollars so i get 80 cents commission so you pay of course the regular price that's I just wanted to show you, so I'll tell you. So that's the tea glass, that's the camera cases, and this is just briefly what I show you now, and then I talk about it further uh, in the next video. So, um, this is the new T Encoder Pro. It's of course uh, based on the ESP S3, which I will use from now on on my projects as well. I did a couple of them and I really like how it works and that I don't have to use a USB to serial adapter. So that's the container that it comes with. It's very sturdy and the package was all packed with bubble wrap and whatnot. This was around the encoder for protection on the bottom and top. The screen protector I took already off and another protection foam protection over here so you do not have to worry that it comes in any way in any way or shape or form damaged it will not this is really sturdy so um, well let me talk about this real quick where is it so this was around the edge of the encoder and first I wasn't sure if it is a protection or if it's the outside of the encoder that you grab and turn. Uh, it turns out it's just for protection. So what the outside of the encoder looks like is this. This is a thin rubber band and uh, while it works, of course, I had this idea this morning. I have this for a couple days now. I had the idea this morning to use one of my 3d prints that i use this nice uh, diamond shape um, file this is for my cnc late uh, threading insert and then i came up with this first i had it well if you can see it oh, let's see uh, it's angled on the top but not on the bottom so the bottom flared out and then if you touch it you get this sharp edge well sharp um, you get this edge on your fingers which is not a nice feeling and it's much nicer here so I did print this like this and I thought this is TPU obviously I thought I would be able to slip it over it but it's not I mean the original that's probably why they use this this is pretty flexible this is not it does not stretch in any shape or form and then I thought well just cut it and then glue it on there and the first cut I made like that and then uh, I had a better idea to make the cut like that which turned out much nicer because once it's glued together you can not see the line there you go you cannot see the line where it has come together but this one again was with the flared bottom so then i imported it into tinkercad again split it down the middle used the top part flipped it around put it together and uh, luckily the uh, the diamond shape was exactly in the middle so I did not have any strange artifacts going on and then maybe I should have talked about the product first but anyway um, 
this is what I came up with and I did glue it together and you will not be able to see the seam so I just used a little bit of double sided uh, double sided double sided tape just where the seam would be or the, the opening and then glued it on there and now sorry Lily go but I think it looks so much nicer so anyway now we come to the actual encoder oh i did not pull up the technical data but what i know is <coughs> excuse me these displays are the same this is a touch version this is a non-touch version and these are 1.28 inch displays with 240 by 240 pixel this one is a 1.2 inch display slightly smaller but with a whopping 390 by 390 pixels and it's AMOLED so black is black once you turn it down you have no backlight bleeding through and just as a comparison this display Oh, you can see me it's warm in here so I have no t-shirt on excuse me um, this display has 400 by 400 pixel this one has 390 by 390 Apple iPhone uh, Apple would now say they reinvented the wheel that remember when they always talked about PPI pixel per inch and how they were super and then it turns out they make their displays by Samsung or Samsung makes their displays I don't know how it is now with the latest but it was like that for a long time and they always nothing against Apple I do like Apple I had the first iPhone that came out and uh, I went up to I think iPhone 4 and then it just got too expensive and anyway I switched to Android so this is a 390 by 390 pixel AMOLED display and it's gorgeous it's absolutely gorgeous and uh, this is a code uh, that uh, stems from uh, LV LVGL uh, demo but Nick the fix uh, hi Nick thank you for the code he adapted it to this display or for this hardware and unfortunately his uh, he used uh, Arduino IDE for the code and it just did not compile with me it gave errors and errors and errors so I searched the internet and then I found a fork of his fork <laughs> by um, what's his name Kamran Alami and he does live in Turkey and I'm Turkish so what a coincidence I would say I will just show uh, shortly uh, show you his website and his picture so he adapted the code back towards uh, platformio io so that's what i use to upload the code i will put the links in the description so we can you can check out his um well i didn't show you this is his version of the screen sorry i could use screenshots but and here it says that uh where is nick's name adapted yeah nick the fix there we go so and this one is for platform io and i finally got platform io to work so that was a big help of course and um anyway that's how i got the display to work and um, you can see now I'm making my product bad <laughs> ah, not really but maybe you can see the difference in pixel density here on the plane for example you see the pixels and on the lilico encoder pro you don't see no pixels whatsoever 
and um, this is I mean, the code is just beautiful and I look at that picture I almost fell in love with Samantha <laughs> so he has here a couple demos and for being a 390 by 390 pixel this is very very smooth this is well that's a code but it's absolutely smooth look at that and uh mike if you're watching this uh thank you for all your support and all the products and codes you make uh, you had a clock like this in one of your demos and I'm not sure if it was this one but I just like this I just love it actually here is a clock demo that I did let me put this out of the way so that's also with 240 by 240 pixels but it's also nice but this is just this is just awesome um, unfortunately in this code example the rotation is not um, implemented that's what i'm looking for so anyway let me talk a little bit more about the encoder you have three holy oh, go you have three mounting holes those are i think m2 screws you have a connection for i2 square and a connection for rx and tx serial communication you have a reset button on the bottom and the boot button is actually the display button and you can use gpio0 for input as well i do have a library that i use on my products oh that's my retro clock please somebody buy me it's summertime sales are slow so already finished up ready to go and you can see it's absolutely running great and this is by the way my artificial horizon if i get it to focus anyway and this is my altimeter if you're interested and i guess nobody loves chrysler 300c no more this is a excellent keychain i made with acrylic cuts and whatnot and with several different animations for the leds so anyway as i said type c input unfortunately no battery inside that would be the killer but with a display like this um, i don't know how long it would last so but anyway if you're interested and if you like my video and leave a comment, I will send you a link to this um, ring. All you need to do is cut it like this. This you can just uh, slip off since it's elastic. Cut it like this. Use a little bit of double-sided tape. Obviously not the, not the one that's very thick like this. This is very, very thin as you can see. And that's the protection is actually thicker than the double-sided tape itself so anyway that's what i used and um yeah it comes with several demos the original demo shows the screen with different colors and um brightness adjustment and it's it's actually i don't know how they do it with the uh, s3 they must have something up their sleeve which i have to figure out but the, I mean the animations are absolutely if you're going for animations or whatever you want to do with this but they're so fluid I mean did I mention it's 390 by 390 pixel I saw one video that did not mention that and it's I think uh, for makers like i am it's uh important and um it has a nice curvature on the on the glass i'm not sure if this 
I think it's plastic, it's not glass, but uh, because that's a cover on top of it. So anyway, um, if you have any projects with a small encoder, I also have the huge encoder, this one, and um, still looking for an idea to make this. This one would fit perfectly in my car instead of the clock but I do like the analog clock in the car since I am into analog watches as well um, anyway this one has 400 by 400 pixel this one has 390 by 390 pixel so uh, I'm not sure what I'm gonna do with this but it's it's nice I don't know why they did go with the hexagon um, shape on the back and then three holes <laughs> kind of out of the box thinking i would say it's, actually i like it because uh, square is all round is i mean you have square and round everywhere but not um hexagons which i'm actually using as well hexagons small hexagons this is a different project um yeah, I don't know what else I'm gonna tell you about this. There's, you can do anything with it, of course. It has Bluetooth, Wi-Fi, all that good stuff. And um, if it would have a battery, it would make a standalone controller for something wireless. Maybe volume control, like I have here, for example. This is my version of a volume control. Let me show you real quick with a big encoder. And... Uh, LEDs and acrylic bottom and whatnot. You can use this for your PC um, volume control or anything else you can control via a rotational input. So this was mine several several years ago. No display obviously, and this is the way it goes. And I see in all the new cars control controllers like this. And they actually look the same size as this, I'm almost certain. I'm picky, you know that. Mm, nice. You see my lights above, I have above my desk. Um, and they have inputs like that for air conditioning and ventilation and whatnot. So maybe I would get a couple more of these and do the same in my old car. Hmm. And, uh, but I have to uh, praise myself for the outside of the encoder. Anyway, also you know that M M5 has an encoder like this, but it has that kind of display with only 240 by 240 pixel. This is more than 2.5 times more pixels and as you saw i'm showing you again sorry i hope you're still with me um this is absolutely beautiful i should have made this video in 4k Obviously, it would be nice. Nick, if you're watching this, I hope you do. If not, I will send you a message and a link. Please work on this code. Make something awesome with it. And I sent you 10 of these rings. <laughs> if you get... you, I think you have this encoder as well. I'm not sure. But... Um, anyway, this is it. I don't want to make it too too long it's almost 20 minutes already so i have the affiliate links for these in the description i have affiliate links for stuff from my aliexpress my watch build for example and other stuff and i have a affiliate link for banggood um, which goes really bad and um, you can also just support me by liking the video doesn't cost you anything by subscribing it and hitting the notification bell I really need that guys and uh, you can hit the super button below the video 
you can donate some money or buy me coffee via PayPal or become a Patreon. I have 50 million Patreons. Uh, well, not the 50, not the million, just five Patreons still. Anyway, this was it for today. Um, if you want to see the other ones, the camera with the display, which is also awesome hardware with microphone, speaker, uh, micro SD card. Oh, they put really everything in here. So then like, subscribe and hit the notification bell. Till later YouTube, take care.